Hi guys, this is lesson number 43 from our Coral Rod Training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about envelope tool and add perspective feature in Coral Draw. As you can see that in our toolbox here, we have a shadow tool. Once you will click and hold the mouse, you will see the additional tool. Here we have envelope tool. And add perspective feature here in Coral Draw 2020, we have it under object menu. In Coral Draw 2017-18, x7 it is under effect menu but now it is under object so click on object and you can see that here we have add perspective option and it is disabled because nothing is selected in our document we are going to make little comparison between envelope tool and add perspective feature because both of them having similar functionality as you can see in my screen i have here advertisement I prepared in Photoshop and I imported as a JPEG file and same advertisement I mapped on this signboard here using add perspective. Here we have another artwork we enveloped on the book cover and there is a floral design with the text we map on this coffee mug. There is something additional you can see here we have another page we added in this open book you can see that it's a turning page and we use envelope control. So let's get started. Add perspective control and envelope tool you can use for image or vector file. Here we have images with the text. You can see that uh, this one feel good with coffee. It is a text. If I will click, it is a separate text on this background. First of all, you need to import that things in Corel Draw. To import in Corel Draw, you will go to the file. Under file menu, we have here import. Click on import and you can see that here we have that design book cover I am just going to show you how to import a multiple element you will click press control key and click the next this is what we need coffee mug so this way you will import click on import and now simply click and drag in your document to place the elements and look at this so this is how we import it. I am going to delete that. I just show you how to import the things in your document. Since I have in my page, I will use the same. Let's start with this signboard and this advertisement. So we are going to copy. I will select this image with this artwork by pressing shift key. Press plus to copy and bring it here in the page. As you can see that this is a blank signboard and here we have our ad select it to map on this board we can use add perspective feature and also we can use envelope tool i will give you both example now it is selected here i will go to the object in previous version of coral draw it is under effect so i will go to the object and here we have add perspective click it as you can see now we have a black points around this artwork and once you will hover your mouse over the point it shows plus sign it is indicating that you can move to the specific point to add perspective. So I'm going to move this point here. You can see simply, I will just click and drag it here. This point in this corner. Simply click and drag. So you can see that our artwork, it is perfectly placed on this signboard. This what we did by using add perspective from the object menu now i will give you another example here we have a book with the similar artwork select both select it press shift key and click on this artwork both of them are selected press plus key and move it here now we are going to map this artwork and the book cover here in the front i will select this and make another copy press plus key Let's try first add perspective and same way we can just move the points. We can zoom and perfectly we can place. So you can see that using add perspective control we map this artwork to the book cover let's move it to the side here 
you can see that it is okay but once I will go back again here to the object now add perspective it is disabled okay once you will apply add perspective you need to fix at once though you can enable add perspective control once again once you will go to the bitmap and convert it to bitmap click OK once again if I will go back now you can see that add perspective is active but once I will click on add perspective you can see that add perspective it's come back to the default state rectangular shape now I want to move this artwork from this point but it is not easy because the point moves to the most right with the rectangular shape so if I will move it from this point it is quite hard to fix it back again like this but using envelope tool it is more flexible so let me show you how to work with the envelope tool to map this go to the pick tool select this this artwork and click on envelope once you will click on envelope tool you will be having additional points you can see that we have midpoints here okay once I will click on the midpoint there is a directional handle so if I will move this from this point now you can see that it is creating curve so it is not the right way to map this time so what to do we'll go back first of all we need to delete the midpoints it's very easy you will select this way now I selected these two points and press delete key from the keyboard or you can click on delete node click on this button here and from horizontal direction also both I will delete okay so now we have only four nodes around but still once I will click on any node you can see directional handles there still I cannot directly map so what we are going to do we are going to select these four nodes once again and simply click on convert to line now once it's converted to line we got now the add perspective control similar to this now you need to click outside to deselect all the points and select one point and just move it and look at this we achieve the same result that we got from the add perspective but it is more flexible here because anytime you want you can go back and you can adjust it but add perspective feature it once uh, let's say I will click on pick tool and I want to select again now I want to adjust it from the corner it is very easy we will go back again and simply hold it from the corner and move somehow add perspective control is also a very good feature but envelope tool is more flexible and if there is a curve or bent and you want to apply to your specific artwork still it is possible we can add the nodes we can delete the node using directional handle we can work with the envelope tool so envelope tool is more flexible let's see in another example you can see that here we have a uh, artwork and I am going to map here so we'll select both click this image press shift key and click on this picture press plus key okay here we have another image and I am going to map on this open book you can see that we have turning page here if I will click this now if I will use add perspective it will not work here so in this case we are going to use once again envelope tool while it is selected click on envelope okay so now we are going to delete the mid nodes delete select this way and you can click on delete node also here so we need to move that directional handle once you will select one you will see the directional handles we'll select all of them and simply click on convert to line you need to click outside first and select one point and move to your desired place this way okay let's zoom it and place the point perfectly
okay so here we have with add perspective control from the object we can do this much but now since we are using envelope tool we can do further here i want to add curve envelope tool is active simply i will click in the middle if i want i can add point if i will double click coral draw will add another point but right now we don't need point we'll just click it and simply click on convert to curve actually envelope tool control the way you can see here it is similar to the shape tool in the shape tool we have all these functionalities so now you can see that we have directional handles here so if i will bring the mouse here over this path this small curve with the mouse pointer click and drag it so you can see that it is distorted in the curve and from the bottom also we can do we'll just click click on this segment and convert to curve once you have directional handle even you can use directional handle this way click and drag and you can adjust using envelope tool perfectly we map this artwork in this book still there is another way to use perspective in coral draw the envelope feature is also hidden in the window here you can see that we have a window menu if you will go under window to the dockers then go to the effects you can see that under effect here we have envelope so let's see how to use this feature i have another image here you can see there is a coffee mug with this artwork and text so we are going to select all press shift key and i am going to select all of them press plus and let's move it to the side here you can see that here we have a floral background this type of floral background you can download from the google you can just type floral background and there is a lot of sample for your practice purpose you can use and on this floral background we have here a uh, text this is simple text i just type and place it here in order to use envelope tool for both element for text and this uh, background we need to group them so i'm going to select both of them and simply i will click on group okay so here we have mug on this cup we can also map this image and text using envelope tool the way we have done in this book but there is another way the way i show you under docker we can create object vector object and directly we can map using envelope functionality so as you can see that here i have this small shape here this what i created with the pen tool we'll just bring it here reduce the size it is under that object order to front of the page so you can see now and i will just resize okay this how we have a shape here this shape you can create by using pen tool or any other path creation tool you can see that here we have uh, different tools let me give you an example with the pen tool if i will click on pen tool i will click here click on drag and then once again i will click here to close the node carefully i will click here click and drag then i will close the path here now you can see that this path is uh, really not perfect uh, we can adjust it with the shape tool using shape tool you can click on any segment and convert to curve okay and using these directional handles you can adjust it it will take time that's why i have already so, but i show you the way how to create so i am going to delete this and we will use this shape we are going to map this artwork with the text on this coffee mug so select it this is our artwork it is selected with the text it is a group i will go to the window docker and under docker we have effect and we have envelope once i will click on envelope we have a lot of shapes here you can see that it is predefined shapes and once you will click on any shape you can see the blue box around once it's appear you will click your artwork it will be shape it will be transformed accordingly but we are not going to do that we have our own custom shape here so we will choose second option from here you can click on this button create envelope from so once you will click it simply click inside the shape you want to transform your artwork so just click it our text and background it's perfectly transformed with this shape now i will click on the pick tool and if i want i can just place it here 
this functionality, this feature under envelope tool or envelope from the effect you can use for the text also. I have another exercise, exercise number 8 from this Coral Draw training course series. You can check exercise number 8. It is well explained with the text and shape. Let's close envelope dialog. So, this is how we learn about add perspective and envelope tool and envelope feature from the dockers. Here we use add perspective from object. In this book cover, we use envelope tool and here also we use envelope tool and map this artwork in curve and in this coffee mug from the effect menu we use envelope. I hope you enjoy this lesson and envelope tool with the add perspective control is clear for you. If you have your own images it's okay but still you can download from the google any picture images for your practice purpose. Guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.